<laughs> Look at this my challenge. <laughs> this right here. Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. My name is Blaze Redemption and today what I have for you guys is another, yet again, another Call of Duty World War 2 video. In today's video guys, we're going to be talking about how to win every single gunfight in Call of Duty World War 2. This tip is going to help you guys tremendously with, you know, getting higher stats, getting into higher score streaks and things in the nature right there. So if you guys do go in to enjoy today's video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. We have, we have not one but two v2 rockets going in the background so if you guys are interested in watching that you know just stick around for the entire gameplay one of them is like around 131 seconds long and the other one is like you know it's just a bunch of kills and then i end up getting my v2 but without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get into today's video hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you there peace Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. My name is Blaze Redemption and today what I have for you guys is another Call of Duty World War 2 video. In today's video guys, we're going to be talking about how to win each and every single gunfight in Call of Duty World War 2 along with a couple other different tips and tricks that will help you guys with improving your gameplay, improving your play style, and, you know, just overall making the game a better experience for you guys. So before we do jump into today's video guys, it would be greatly appreciated if you guys have not already go ahead and drop a like on today's video we're gonna shoot for 40 likes on today's video that's gonna be like go it'll be great little appreciate if you guys can actually smash that out guys it'll be so helpful helps the channel get out there in the search engine and stuff like that you know get new people watching the video and things of nature right there also guys if you have not already don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys to stay updated with all the new world war content that we will have coming to the channel here tomorrow and later on in the future and last but not least guys hit that notifications bell so that you guys are always updated with literally each and every single video and live stream that we do have coming to the channel so without further ado guys let's go ahead and jump straight into today's video so today's video is going to be a little different from what other videos are because i don't have any set commentary topic as far as bullets and points on what i usually have normally guys there's like a piece of paper literally right in front of me when i'm reading off certain little areas of the uh, page or whatever it tells me you know what to go on about so if i get to uh, rambling on anything like that guys you know you gotta forgive me but without further ado let's go ahead and jump straight into this so the tip that i want to give you guys today is you literally how you're gonna win every gunfight so first I'm gonna give you guys a couple different examples of you know how you guys can win so you ever find yourself in a situation where you are battling with two enemies at a time or like three enemies at a time and sometimes even just that one guy that's always jump shotting or potentially drop shotting and you know and you find your accuracy to, to kind of slip away from you or you get like the first two shots off and then you kind of wonder why that person killed you it's literally because of the aim assist in the game the aim assist in this game is almost little to none and I think the reason for that is because on PC there is no aim assist whatsoever so I figured you you know some of the files that got transferred over between the games whenever in the creation you know they just didn't get it down packed hopefully in the future they do fix that and make the aim assist a little bit stronger whenever you're in gunfights which will help you guys you know win better gunfights but this is what I have for you guys so if you ever find yourself in those type of situations and you really can't stay on target guys what you guys literally want to do is aim out and aim right back in if you guys do this this is gonna put you guys accuracy and aim literally right back on point especially if this is one of those medium to close range gunfights, it makes such a big difference. You guys notice me using it all the time in videos and even in this video as well. Also guys, and I do want to point this out for just one second here. The video that you guys are watching in the gameplay right now is 131 seconds. 131 seconds. That is 2 minutes and 11 seconds long of a straight up nuke streak where we just completely destroyed these guys in the spawn system. It was absolutely insane. But look, that right there is what we have for how to win gunfights. Once again, guys, you guys want to aim in, aim right back out, especially for those people who like to sit on head glitches. You 
definitely want to be doing that because if not you can shoot a first couple shots off maybe hit one or two shots like i said but you're never going to hit that third or fourth shot with the recall of the weapon if you're not aiming in and aiming right back out and that can just be like you know you aim in you drop down behind cover you come back up and that's the aim in and aim right back out or like if somebody's running past your screen that same thing works every single time guys i kid you not this tip is such a good tip for winning gunfights like it's, it's so crazy also guys whenever you do find yourself you know trying to get those kills right there you always want to aim center mass and when i say center mass if you look at my body as if i'm a silhouette you always want to aim from like you know belly button on up so that whenever the book is ricochet or not ricochet but whenever the whenever your weapon starts to recoil it's going to recoil up to the head so meaning if you get one or two body shots off and then you get that last head shot you're pretty much guaranteed that kill each and every single time that's why whenever you see me running around the map you don't ever see me really just like looking down at the ground or looking too high up in the air i try to always keep my weapon at a center balance at all times just in case you know i find myself encountering a gunfight the way i maneuver around the map guys and the way that i play the game is such it, it plays such a big role with you know getting kills and getting into score streaks because if you're not using a map to your advantage guys and you're not you know using these different tips right here to your advantage guys then nine times out of ten you're gonna be the person that ends up on the short end of the stick and end up getting killed in a gunfight so you guys want to be using these tips right here and be playing very strategic very tactical in order to win those gunfights guys moving on the next thing i want to talk about today guys is the class setup and today i will not have this class setup on screen today and the reason is because yesterday i literally used this exact same class setup in my video so if you guys are interested in knowing those attachments like legitly breaking down you know everything about the class go ahead and click on the link in the description down below as well as up above guys you guys go ahead and go check that out this link will link you directly to that video you guys can go ahead and watch that you know it was a very insane nuclear that i got on that map as well but back to the class setup guys what you guys are going to be seeing me use it's going to be the stg stingles or stringles or something like that i don't know exactly what it's called the name of the variant but it's an epic variant of this weapon which is crazy guys i got it out of supply drops in the video that i also uploaded yesterday guys you can go check that out as well i'll be leaving a link down in the description or up above somewhere around you know just go check it out but pretty much i was using the stg the epic variant of it and for the attachments guys i use rapid fire grip and the standing max now these three attachments right here are so crucial so crucial and i cannot stress that enough guys so crucial to getting your score streaks so crucial to winning gunfights although the SCG does have a very high firing rate, which I believe is like an 8 out of 10 for its class. Whenever you get encountered with somebody that's using a bar, whenever you get encountered with somebody that's using a PPSH, a WAF, any of those weapons and much more, you guys going to have the up advantage with one of those up close and personal and medium range gun fights because of the rapid fire. And guys, the grip is there because you, you guys want to stay on target. You guys always have to stay on target in the standing magazine so you guys have extra ammunition throughout the gunfight guys that right there pretty much wraps up that class setup if you guys are interested once again and knowing exactly what it is feel free to go check out the links down in the description down below or up above whichever one they're at you know they're probably going to be in both spots once again that right there is going to pretty much wrap up my commentary guys so i hope you guys did enjoy i do have another gameplay going in the background where i literally dropped 92 kills and i believe like four depths or something like that on flex tower guys it was an absolutely insane gameplay and i probably will bring that gameplay in full to you guys in a later day but what i'm going to be showing you guys today is just going to be the nuke part of it or the v2 rocket and that's what you guys are going to be watching in the background so if you guys are interested in knowing or interested in watching some more gameplay guys feel free to stick around some nice gameplay some very funny humor with the stuff i was saying as well in the background but once again that's going to wrap up my commentary guys that is the end of what i have to say today i hope these tips do help you guys come back and let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the class setup in the tips as well or if you guys have any video suggestions or questions let me know in the comment section down below or on twitter my dms are always open once again hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day hope you guys did enjoy your stay hashtag blaze empire in the comment section don't forget to drop a like and subscribe my name is blaze redemption and i will see you guys in the next video peace that's what that man was doing afk bro who is over here blocking these spawns bro i'm five off my bitches right now bro jeez louise
Alpha, bro. Go on about your business, dude. Go ahead, paratroopers, go on. Yeah, nigga, you thought you was killing me off that bitch's metal. Mad, big mad. Man, I would have dropped my freaking bomb too, bro. They some hoes. Y'all love this game, bro. I swear, this is one of my favorite cars now. The best car they made, bro. Not the best card ever, just like, I ain't compl I really ain't complete that sentence because I was going to say in the last three years because this shit definitely ain't better than BO2. I said it's not better than BO2. It's definitely not better than BO2. I'm about to drop 100 on their head, boy. I wonder how close I am to this V2 right now. Or let's let me just run over here to the right side over here. Let me get this right here, bro. I'm close to my V2. Yo, who is this with the flag? Yo, Hazard, let me get this from close to my V2. Yeah, I'm mostly smoking dick. See, Rise, this is why you don't need to touch the flag, bro. You gotta be a real nigga, bro. I, I held that flag the whole round and didn't die once. Yeah, actually, let me get it, let me get it, let me get it. You ain't making me angry, you the one getting your shit clapped up. Requisition. I mean, he gotta get some kills eventually, you feel me? Requisition. Hey, leave that shit alone, player. Yo, who is this over here, bro? Can I please catch this side of the spawns? Paratroopers drop shot at the shit out of that nigga. I'm gonna get to the link, bro. Get on flag, Hold up. Not yet, bro. I don't know how close I am to it. No, they're not. I got the flag on me, bro. Just kill him. Whoever got the flag, kill him. Oh, she almost Kobe me off of it, bro. Holy, bro, he threw the grenade straight to me. I got the V2, let's get it. Man, this game hella easy, bro. These niggas can't fuck on me. Dropping 80 bombs on their head. Put me in carnage already, bro. I don't even care, nigga. Still got some old paratroopers for the ass. All right. Yo, that nigga is definitely... I ain't finna go for no hundred if this nigga keep throwing all these damn grenades at me. Oh my God. Rise, bro. He got sauced. <laughs> you was right there. I said he got sauced. Nah, I'm, bro, you, dude, oh my god. He was right there, like, when you seen, when you seen me sauce his ass up is what I'm trying to get at. Why y'all blocking the spawns for it, bro? Watch out, man, let me get a nine. No! Oh, look 
Look at this dude. I don't know, but we about to lose unless I get my hands on this flag. Oh, it don't even matter. I'm going for it. It's over where we lost. 92 and four, bro. I'm clapping. He, if he wouldn't have cooked that grenade on me, bro, I would have, I wouldn't have never, uh, we would have won. But it's a draw anyways. Okay. Why you couldn't do that, do that shit fucking two seconds early when they chunked that bitch in my forehead?